Hello everyone, long time no see. feel like I haven't turned on my camera in such a long time. Not sure if you're able to tell through my voice, but I was sick over the past few days. It was one of the worst night ever. I was literally just laying in bed, couldn't breathe through my nose. I was hot one second and cold the next. But yeah, I'm feeling so much better now even though I might still sound a little nasally. <clears throat> my throat still hurts so much. <clears throat> I have a little life update for you guys. Besides being sick over the past few days, the main reason why I haven't been posting and uploading as much on my YouTube is because I recently got a full-time job. She's a corporate girly now. <laughs> um, yeah, this is quite a big life changes for me. A lot of people around me were kind of shocked when I told them about this. This has been something that's in my mind for a while now. So I am really glad that I make the change. So I'm currently working at 9 to 6 and I go into office during the weekdays. I'm still trying to balance out work and my personal content creation. Um, currently have all my new stuff in this little organize it. This is actually what I use to dry my makeup brushes whenever I wash them but I don't have a place to store my nail stuff so I'm just currently putting them in here. While I do my nails, let me just talk more about why the change because a lot of the people around me were shocked about this change. Even my boyfriend was kind of shocked. So um, I would say the biggest reason is that I just don't see myself growing as a person um, doing this any longer. It was fun when I first started out but I have been doing content creation as my full-time job ever since graduating and I have never experienced working at a corporate and part of me always wonder how that's like and I know I'm really privileged to have the option to choose what I want to do for my career and yeah I guess I just don't see myself growing anymore. I, I feel kind of dumb honestly like don't get me wrong I do really like what I'm doing. I love content creation and I like documenting my life to have something to look back on in the future as well as connecting with you guys through my videos. I guess I just didn't want my hobby to be something that my livelihood relied on anymore. There were a lot of times I find myself couldn't separate career and my personal life. I'm constantly thinking about work. I'm constantly thinking about what I should do in a vlog to make it interesting for my audience to watch which is kind of ironic i've had this thought for so long when people watch vlogs they want to see your day-to-day -day life i felt like i was going out and doing interesting things just to make my vlog interesting i've been working and doing this alone for the longest time ever since i started my job i realized how nice it is to have a team to give you their advice their feedbacks on the projects that you're currently working on so that's really nice because when you are working for yourself, it can feel kind of isolating sometimes. Um, unless you have enough resources to have a team on your own, that's a different story. But for me, I did everything on my own. So what should I do? Let's go with this one. It's cute. Basically, I just wanted to change and step out of my comfort zone. But another thing is that I am kind of bored of having everything about me how you like to express yourself, express your thoughts. I do enjoy sharing my personal opinion online, but when that became your career, I felt like my whole life is constantly revolved around myself, and I just kind of wanted something that is not about me, 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 you know? So what did I book of that? I know there are a lot of people quitting 
the nine to five to pursue content creation full time and I'm doing the complete opposite. That did make me doubt my decision at first. But I guess everybody's timeline is just different. For them, that is them stepping out of their comfort zone and this is me stepping out of my comfort zone. I don't think by pursuing that I'm giving up anything here. I know definitely my time and effort would be diverse, but I think that personally I would gain so much more by going that route. Especially now that I don't have to depend my livelihood on content creation anymore. I can just create whatever I want. It's so much more freeing. I hope that explains why. I'm gonna continue to do my nails now and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> always buy my grocery at village grocer but these are like six ringgit five ringgit cheaper here i just got back from doing some mini I just did some grocery shopping because my fridge is literally empty and I have ran out of all the dry foods that I have but I mainly got dry foods this time because I usually get my fresh produce at the village grocer because I feel like it's a lot fresher there and I don't have to do much thinking but I just found out that things are seriously so much cheaper at Lotus. I always knew things are a little bit cheaper at Lotus, but I didn't know it's this much cheaper, especially on the imported goods. If I'm not mistaken, I usually get this at like 26 or 28, 26, 27. That's like 10, 15%. Also, we stock some more instant noodles, oyster sauce because they make everything taste 10 times better. Oops. <laughs> some potato and carrots because I want to make Japanese curry for dinner tonight. I also got a coconut but I'm not sure if this is fresh coconut or coconut jelly so let's see. Should we do one carrot? Hmm? Yes or no? <laughs> Whoa this is so good. I'm gonna share some of this with Chubby because he loves coconut water too. Welcome to my little office space. I'm not really sure how to decorate it because I'm using it as so many different purposes, which is why I haven't been filming in here that much. But I recently moved my desk to this little corner so that whenever I'm working on my desk, I'm facing outwards and I can look at the window. It also has pretty good lighting, but you guys have no idea how messy this room is right now. I have like all of my mess buried in that corner. I have more things on top of my closet and I have some dog stuff right there and my clothes rack. Yeah, it is such a small space but I'm using it for so many things. I'm using it as my closet, my storage as well as my working area. But yeah, as long as you don't look at that corner, this is pretty nice. Anyway, I want to show you guys my little work buddy right here. I've been needing a charging port that I can take to work with me. As you guys know, the iPhone doesn't come with a charging port now. So I've been bringing mine back and forth and I really want one like that I can bring to work with me. This is my little work buddy. This little one right here is a fast charging charger port. It's so cute just sitting right here. It has a little protector. There are two Type-C port and one USB-A port. It has fast charging. It's able to charge a MacBook Air up to 55% under just 30 minutes, which is really nice. I have a MacBook Air as my work laptop, so. And with the fast charging, you don't have to worry about it getting overheated as well because it has the mode guard system built into this little 
body right here so it remains nice and cool when you're charging also another cute feature of this Robogun is that it has a little screen right here as you guys can see and whenever you're charging the emoticons on it reflects the charging status of your device which is really cool this comes in grey as well which I really want to get one for my boyfriend I think it will look really cute as a pair so if you guys are interested I'll have a link in my description box and you can use my code right here to get 25 ringgit off just got done filming a video for Instagram. I've had a really productive Saturday morning. The day has been going strong. And tonight, I'm gonna be going over to my friend's house because I haven't seen them in a while. You can take a high then. A little puppy update. The little one is not so little anymore. <laughs> Their personalities are the complete opposite. There's always the angelic firstborn and the chaotic second baby. Got myself some kombucha. And now we're gonna meet up with our friends for a drink. A drink, a drink for drinks. Please excuse what I look like right now. I'm just a tired dog mom on a Sunday morning. I just got done grooming two of my dogs and just took a shower myself, but I'm already drenched in sweat. But I just won my very first auction on eBay. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe it. They always ramped up with the beating. <laughs> Hold on. This, this guy has been screaming bloody murder as usual. And he doesn't like being carried. I recently have gotten myself into this rabbit hole of finding really good vintage gem on eBay and I only buy from Japanese seller because they have really strict rules on cultivated products but I've never won an auction in my life because they always ramp up the bidding in the very last five seconds but guess what I just won my very first bidding even though it was $200 more than what I was intending to pay. It's still a pretty good price if I were to get them from local vintage like those Instagram shops. I found two gems today so I just bought my very first vintage designer bag yeah, and I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. <laughs> wow, this is the bag we're talking about. It's in such a good condition like it looks so new. <sighs> look at the look at the straps. Oh my god! I wish I can get it before my trip, but I'm leaving in literally two days. I mean, three days. It will probably get here when I'm gone. Hello, hello everybody. I just got back from work and had my dinner. And I'm currently packing for Korea because I'm leaving tomorrow night. I'm trying really hard to pack as light as possible because I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of shopping there and I wanna have enough space for that. So I wanna try to just fill up half of my suitcase. I'm bringing my new sweater that I recently got from COS. Ta-da! I love the cable knit detailing. And then I have my new scarf. I got this specifically for Korea and the color is so cute even though I look like crap right now but I feel like it complements my skin tone really well
and of course I'm taking this with me because I can use different types of cables with just this charger port and I'm also taking this international adapter See you guys in Korea!